right, another day, another install. I'm down in the parking garage of my place. And today I'm gonna install this. Oh yeah. It's a carbon spoiler. I can actually just hold it up here. I've had it for a little bit longer than the car, so I've waited quite a while. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install that today. The OEM spoiler is a little bit dinky. It's subtle, but it's a little dinky. So that's the profile of it. This one's a little bit more aggressive and it's gonna complement the rest of the little accents of the car so far. This one came with some 3M tape. And I bought this at Walmart, cost a dollar, just fishing line. This is just so I'm able to take off the OEM spoiler. And that's probably gonna be the most time consuming part of this install. But other than that, it should be pretty good. So it's time to get started. First thing I'm gonna wanna do is plug in the heat gun and get that going. So right now what I'm aiming to do is just heat up the adhesive under the spoiler, making sure not to damage any of the body paint, of course. So I'm just gonna quickly run this heat gun over it just to get it warm to the touch. And it might make it a little bit easier to remove the spoiler. So let's go. Now I got my fishing line. Let's see if I get a good amount. Okay. So I'm gonna hold it like this, wrap it around all four fingers. That should come off relatively easily. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> That's why you get extra. I thought they'd be stronger than this. What did I get? 10 pounds, oh, I cheaped out on the fishing line. Oh, I got so much though, so that's all right. <laughs> okay, so round two, let's try this again. Okay, I know now not to pull so hard. People have been recommending dental floss. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Unless you had extra strength dental floss. Hmm. Okay, maybe I don't need a heat gun. Already halfway done. Ah, that broke as well. Okay, so round three for the fishing line. Okay, let's try that again. Where was I? Okay, having to backtrack a little bit. <laughs> but it is a lot quicker right now, that's for sure. I'm gonna go a little faster. Oh, that works. Okay, another tip. Go a little faster. Oh no! Never mind. Take that back. Alright, fourth round of fishing line. Here we go. Okay, so that's it. Here we go. Time to remove it. You also don't want these points damaging the trunk, so be careful. Okay, there it is. OEM spoiler removed. This will be a pain to get off. This might be easier without gloves. Get more feel on it. Not getting too much feedback on this. Also careful not to scratch the paint. So I've had the most luck just rolling it off my fingers. Kind of like this. You might have sore fingers the next day, but not a big price to pay. Oh, look at this. I've mastered it. This will be done in no time. So far, I've only spent about 10 minutes doing this. It's been really quick. But as you can see, there's still some adhesive left. You know, this was actually the most intimidating part of the job, I thought. But it's okay. There we go. I'm getting creative with it. So the gloves have come back on. There's still some residue left. I got a secret formula right here. If anyone can guess what it is, hopefully this works. Very experimental. Can't say it works. This is a green feather? Where'd that come from? All right, that didn't work. This was just three parts water and uh, apple cider vinegar. So that didn't work. Something that has always worked, WD-40. I don't know why this works, but it does. Keep in mind though, the car will get a little bit greasy after this, so you definitely want to clean it up. Oh my god, it just comes off. It's all gone. <laughs> That's it. Now, one of the most important steps is prep work. So I got this, alcohol. Make sure to rub it down so you have a clean surface. 
and that you can uh, achieve maximum adhesion with the tape because the last thing you want is it falling off on the highway. So that's it. Trunk is all clean. You're gonna wanna prep the spoiler as well and make sure the underside is clean and ready to mount. And I'm gonna go ahead and start lining this with the 3M tape. And here is a side-by-side -side look of the spoilers beside each other. Let's see if we can get a good profile here. Probably not. They're not leveled, but you can see this one's virtually flat. This one grows up a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And first thing we're gonna do now is test fit it. So it looks to be okay. Yeah, I can't really show it on camera, but I'm gonna move my hands all, all along the spoiler. And once you have that, little bits of tape just to help secure it down and once you're happy with it flip it over last step is to take a heat gun and just heat the surface of the trunk and heat up the tape a little bit you don't want to melt these though Good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it down. Make sure to apply a decent amount of pressure on the spoiler. So that's it, the spoiler's all fitted in, so this is what it looks like from the side. Coming over to the other side. Moving the car forward a bit, just to get a back angle of the car. Okay, here we go. So this didn't take me too long, it took me about an hour. That includes removing the OEM spoiler with the fishing line, uh, cleaning the trunk of the adhesive, prepping the trunk with the alcohol rub and everything else, prepping the spoiler, making sure that's clean and putting the tape on. So overall, it was a pretty easy job. And as long as you do the prep work, there should be no issues. So that's it. Once again, thanks for watching.